the Mike McCallum style punch for those of you who watched him some years ago but on your nine holding centering well punching with him just that superior hands beating Dickinson at the minute nice up to cut through the middle there from on your nine and he landed it a couple of nice sneaky white right hands against Contis out doesn't throw them with much tell He's really well conditioned as well and he lands a good left hook under the elbow of Dickinson as they just turned around each other he wasn't phased at all on you know, when I spoke to him after the, the press conference. He said, that, you know, this is my moment to, to prove how good I am. Doesn't look phased the way he's approached this first round either. He was uh, Anthony Fowler's chief sparring partner down at the McGuigan's gym in preparation for the Liam Smith fight. And plenty of sparring with young Adam Azim too, who's headlining tomorrow. Other side of town. Had some really good experience with John Hedges and Billy Joe Saunders down at Mark Tibbs' gym in the south. So, well travelled around the circuit. And as I mentioned, has been in the gym sparring with Pat McCormack as well. So, away we go then into the second round of uh, a scheduled six hit. At middleweight, for those of you just joining us, Gideon Onyanani from Chatham in the Black Trunks with white mark dickinson in sky blue both had a good share of the opening round dickinson keeping high and tight as he does and on Yanani just starting to find a few little uppercuts through the middle found one in the, the first round found one there as well physically looks solid as well you see the tall figure of duncan agilvy in his corner does a lot of the snc over the years for the likes of joshua Boatsy, lawrence okoli as well and some of the mcguigan's fighters and he looks in good shape on Yanani, caught a, a solid shot there, held it well too. Yeah, I feel on Yanani needs to set the pace. He's got to be in control of this thing. That range, like I said there, you see the beautiful crisp, sharp combination punching from Dickinson. But when on Yanani gets close and he fires in them looping overhand rights and puts the body shots in, he, he does have some success. Yeah, he's good against the body. Into Peter Kramer, the way he places those shots under the arms, Dickinson works both flanks with rapid fire and equal precision. Just snuck a little right hand in when Onyanani was on the turn a few moments ago. Don't get tangled, move your arms, two of you. He's right improved side. his hand speed as well, Onyanani. When I watched some of his previous fights, he was just guilty of pouring the shots out. He's not doing that in this fight. He understands that he can't afford to do that with somebody with the pedigree and the know how of Mark Dickinson. So he's not wasting anything here, Onyanani. Giving, giving Dickinson freebies either. Firing back on the return when he's caught clean. Dickinson just trying to draw that parry out. Had a bit of success just turning that jab into a long left hook in the last round. There it is again on Yanani's hands where it were high and tight that time. There's a little passage there. I could just tell that Mark Dickinson was just trying to draw the lead out of on Yanani to sort of pour in the jab out slightly. But on Yanani not taking the bait. Good work inside again. You can see why he's been asked back by so many of, of the country's top contenders to, to spar around the circuit. Shane McGuigan wouldn't have somebody in for Anthony Fowler that, that couldn't hang with him. And he's a, he's a strong, physical 154 pounder, now 160 pounder, of course. His chin looks good, he doesn't look phased at all. And he catches Dickinson, just a little high there with the right hand drifting forward. Nice left hook, pushes him back now, working away as a clinch in the ropes. Is what I mean, Chris. We can sort of turn this into a bit of a dogfight. That's his best opportunity. That's some really good work from Onyanani. Though I'm faced Dickinson, back to centre ring. Looking again to find that counter check left hook. Get in the face of Mark Dickinson. Got to be careful with that jab. Coming low, Dickinson just missing with the white right hand, punching down with the shot. You just start to see him looking for that a little bit now, Dickinson, that right hand over the jab. I think I heard that the tail end of the conversation in between two and three, where Robert Hodgson said after the third, we'll start to, to work the body a little bit. Will we start to see that from Onyanani? Can he get close enough? There he is, just chops a little right hand up through the middle. And physical up close. And Onyanani, as he has done in his previous two or three contests, doesn't give up centering without a fight. It's physically strong too. Dickinson raking that right hand to the body. Yeah, that was nice, Chris. Changing the levels with the shot. Double jab and drop that right to the body. Beautiful stuff. Getting into a bit of a rhythm here, Dickinson. It's when he's at his best, working the, the flanks on opposite sides with equal precision. And Yanani rushing himself into range again. 
And the call for the feint in the previous round, Dickinson just using it, but on United not taking the bait again, just rushing him up close has proved a physical, tough opponent. And well, what he's lacked in, in hand speed, he's worked him well up close. He's kept defensively tight, his chins look really, really good too, and his conditioning as well. And plenty of desire and ambition throughout this contest. Not been overawed at all, has he? Lovely shot pick in there, long left to the body, followed by a right hook to the head. Yeah, on United's hand position has been it was, consistent yeah. and good throughout the contest, hasn't been caught too clean often, got the earmuffs on. But again, just inching forward with that front foot, picks a nice jab to the body, in and out. Dickinson missed the return, and again, just on United, just digging away, short shots to the body. Dickinson just inching back, trying to bring him on to something here. There's that feint. Just trying to set a trap in this fifth round. It looks like it. Lovely right hand to the body. Keep working, keep working. Don't press on. The sharp shooting at range from Dickinson has perhaps been the difference. And the accuracy. Bar, yeah. A bit more. I say, besides with the shots, Dickinson hasn't wasted much. Stiff exchange of jabs, Dickinson just measuring him with that left hand, firing the right off the pin again. The hands high and tight for him. On Yanani, it's been a disciplined performance from him too. The British Army boxing team gone from strength to strength these last few years. They've put a, a funded program in place in 2015. Karasat is still one of the main success stories. Olympic bronze medal. Out of the, uh, the Tokyo Games, he too has, uh, has done the army crowd this evening. It's Dickinson just missed with that uppercut. And again, the left hook thugs it through with a lovely counter to the body foot. On Yanani there, they just turn around each other, trade uppercuts on the inside. Yeah, I mean, it's a lovely right. Sit. Sorry, Chris, lovely right to the body from On Yanani. I've enjoyed this. Good scrap. Two young men leaving it all in the ring. Really have been an interesting scrap. Good work from Dickinson. Sharp. One, two, out of range, and five back with another two shots. Smart boxing. He's gliding out of range there as Onyanani looks to throw that jab to the body. Surprise, he's not looking for the right hand over the top. Dickinson, lovely left hook from Dickinson. Trade away up close as the seconds tip down in round number six. Really good opening scrap of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds here at Wembley, we go to referee Reese Carter's scorecard. It, it reads 59 to 56 for your winner. He's still undefeated, Mark Boo Boo Dickinson.